The biggest question I've had since I got pregnant is how did I go from this working woman to this, to somebody with this belly? It's not an easy question to answer if you don't know me well, but I think uh, the reaction of my friends and relatives really puts uh, the spotlight on why it was so shocking for people and why it's still shocking for me. I still can't believe I'm pregnant. I've been a career woman for more than 10 years and it's just the time was never right. I've been married for 11 years, so of course the question we were always getting is, when are you gonna have babies? And when we first got married, it was like three years, then the next year, still three years, and three years became 11 years now, actually. And it's not that this was a planned pregnancy or expected at all. I actually had convinced myself I couldn't even have children. I was on the pill for a long time. And all of a sudden, two years ago, my husband got it into his head that he really wanted a child. And I said, oh, we'll adopt, we'll adopt. And he said, no, I want one of my own. And so that's when I went off the pill. And from there, it took more than a year. We weren't, you know, calculating things very hard. Um, and then all of a sudden, one day, boom, I was pregnant. And when I told my husband, uh, let's just say, well, as you'll see, he was pretty shocked. I'm having trouble reading, so how are you reading this for me? Oh my God, what? from my family and some of my friends, they were all blown away by the news. You guys are pregnant. <laughs> oh my god! I can't even Do you need a bag? Do you need a bag for the air? I never thought this was gonna happen in my life. I had that look like Trust me. was gonna happen. <laughs> Are you shocked? I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> years waiting for this. I can't believe it. Oh my God. So another reason people were so shocked about me getting pregnant is I have a huge, huge fear of doctors. We've been kind of documenting that as uh, we go along my pregnancy because I really thought I would never have children because I hate needles in my arm. And when I say I hate it, it's not like you hate it. It's like I have a very big mental fear. I don't think it's painful. But boy, does it scare me a lot. And well, you'll see a little of my reaction here at one of our office visits. Man. Okay, squeeze my hand, honey. Squeeze my hand. Relax yourself. <laughs> you, you need to relax yeah, yourself. Good. You're getting yourself all worked up for no reason. Just breathe in and out, honey. Breathe in and out. So one thing all of my friends and family has said is that they think I'm going to be a wonderful mother because for the last uh, five years, Bernice here has been my little child, and I have another dog who we've had for 10 years, and everybody says I'm a great dog mother, so they think that's going to translate well to, uh, to this one. So it's still sinking in, but I think I'm getting it, and um, we've got a lot to learn in the next uh, four months before the baby is born, but... I'm getting used to it more and more every day, so hopefully uh, it's all going to work out. My fear of doctors, I'm hoping, is going to go away. Everyone says it will in the delivery room, and then once the baby's born, it will be reality. I'll be a mother, and hopefully uh, I'll have a great child, and I hope to be a great mother.